there is a thought that to me is astounding, and it's this. That Jesus Christ will never return to what he was before he came to this earth. So what do I mean by that? Before he came to this earth, Jesus Christ was manifested as a member of the deity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. One in three, three in one, co-equal. Jesus Christ is never going to put off that human body throughout all eternity and go back to the former manifestation. Now, if that isn't surrender, I don't know what is. You see, if he was to return to the former manifestation of his glory, it would mean he would have to divest himself of that human body and go back again to that manifestation which is beyond us to understand. He will always be the Lamb of God. Always. Throughout all eternity. And this he knew before he came into this world to save sinners. Now you see how much you owe him. He came into this world to save sinners and in order that he might save sinners, he had to become sin. He had to become sin, not like sin, but sin. He becomes a man, he becomes sin. He becomes a curse. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Knowing that, how anybody who says I'm a Christian could live for himself in this world is completely beyond my understanding. It does not make sense. And what's more, I believe that person knows nothing about true Christianity. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. He's not somebody that's just passed through a little bit of ritual and been pronounced a Christian by somebody who's no right to tell him he's a Christian. That's the prerogative of the Holy Ghost alone. He goes on his way to hell in a church. I tell you, this book speaks differently. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away and all things have become new. I wonder tonight, my friend, as you sit here, are you a, a true Christian? 